Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS level physical geography course. Today we're going to be looking at issues in Antarctica. Problems with Antarctica's fragile system. There's very little precipitation for plants to grow in. There's only 166 millimetres yearly and also it's very very cold. It's about minus 50 degrees Celsius on average. And also on top of that there's very little sunshine for plants to grow in. So we can assume from this that there is very very little biodiversity in Antarctica. Now that the biodiversity that is there is very dependent on one another since there's so little. If one species is removed from the food chain, it's likely that all the biodiversity there will die. So it is a very fragile ecosystem. So why is Antarctica being exploited? Well, similar to the tundra, it has many resources and many opportunities to use. For example, there's a lot of potential for fishing and whaling, a lot of potential for tourism, scientific research can also take place there, and a lot of uh, resources for oil, which is located in the Southern Ocean, and coal, located in the Transantarctic Mountains. So how can we manage Antarctica to keep it sustainable? Well, the Antarctic Treaty aims to do this. This is a treaty between 12 countries which aims to be able to keep Antarctica's system sustainable and manage the land. It does this by setting a set of protocols and laws in order to protect it. The Madrid Protocol is a ban which issues all mining and oil extraction legal. As a result, we are not going to be mining for oil and coal, which can damage the ecosystem, harm biodiversity, create pollution, and it keeps all of the resources in Antarctica intact. Also, Antarctica was made into a whale sanctuary. This makes it illegal to conduct commercial whaling, and as a result, the biodiversity levels are not depleted. The International Association of Antarctica Tour Operators also imposes restrictions which makes tourism sustainable. No more than 100 tourists are allowed to be in some zones at once. The treaty also prevents ships from discharging oils and plastics which helps protect the biodiversity from harm, reduces levels of pollution which could enhance the greenhouse effect, and also prevents the melting of the ice. The Protocol on Environmental Protection also states that scientists leaving um, from their scientific research, cannot leave excessive waste in their land. As a result, this doesn't harm biodiversity or the area. Quotas can also be set on fishing. This then protects biodiversity levels because not as much fish are going to be depleted from the area. It also helps the people of the southern parts of South America, for example Chile and Argentina, because the people who are living there are going to have less um, fish available to them if these quotas weren't in place. Because we have these quotas, there's not going to be famine, and as a result, they're going to be able to have the regular and sustainable levels of fish which they need to survive with. Here are some questions on issues in Antarctica. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper and pause the video to give yourself time. Hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get these right, congratulations. And if you did not, probably rewind the video to see where you went wrong. Now, this is the end of the AS level physical geography course. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in all of your exams. If you need any more help with geography, be sure to visit the channel in the playlists or visit revisalevel.co.uk for more information. Good luck and I'll see you next time.